So what to do if you getting attacked by negative SEO? So if you're getting loads of links and you notified that or no, you noticed that in uh, the link growth or you, you've, you've seen it somewhere that loads of new links are coming in, shady anchor tags and it's clearly a negative SEO attack. So what are you gonna do? Um, clearly it's not that easy. Um, if you are lucky, you can um, set the, the pages that they are targeting to 404. Um, what you can always do is to set the links or include the links into your disavow file. But you really would have to uh, monitor it at least once a week and update your disavow file all the time. There's not really much that you can do. I show you some example. Um, We've been um, hacked uh, like some months ago. Uh, it's also a very common way these days. Um, actually, that's also an, a tactic of negative SEO to hack other websites and then just bombard them with uh, some kind of anchor text and giving them a lot of shady links. And so um, I used uh, link research tools or we got notified by link research tools actually that that happened. and. If I go in here and look at the anchor text column, we got loads of links with that strange keywords. So peppery and semiconductor and, and stuff like that, that really didn't fit uh, into our link profile. So I went and just pressed on that link to see what it is all about. And you can see it's some kind of forum that must have been hacked as well. So because it's all Louis, Louis Vuitton handbags and it's uh, some Nike stuff, Mulberry sales. Uh, so it's really, it's really about everything. And then here you noticed that the anchor text actually was a peppery. So I check here and I see the peppery is here. Um, and as you see down there in the button, it's a link to media based questions, channel, online shop, and stuff like that. They actually, they, as they hacked our page, they, um, they, they made a page their own. So they, they generated that sub page, and from that sub page, they linked out to a different page again. So what we have done is if you look, if you click on that, um, on that anchor text, you see that you're still going to our site, uh, but because it's a sub page, we decided to make it 404. That means that the link is coming to our website, but the link will not be counted because it's getting to an arrow page. Um, uh, Google will not count the, the link value because the page doesn't exist actually. So because all of that, um, um, all of that links have been going to the same anchor text. We have got hundreds uh, of, of, of links coming in, but they all uh, um, have been pointing to the sub folder questions and then channel online shop uh, website. So we just decided to make that 404. So all the link value that is coming in will uh, not be counted. And also what we made is we made sure to get in all that link into the disavow file to really make 100% sure that they will not count it, that Google will not count the, the link power. But um, if you're not lucky in the pointing to the start page, for example, there's not really much you could do. I mean, if it's really a heavy attack, you could decide to switch like from um, the WW version to uh, the, the subdomain or to, to use www.udomain.com or stuff like that. But I really wouldn't recommend that because if uh, it's really negative SEO and they are watching what you're doing, they just switch to your new domain. So uh, if you're lucky, they're just linking to a subfolder or a sub, um, really a sub page or a, a page on your website and you are able to 404 that website or that page uh, and like that get uh, rid of the negative uh, link juice or link values and always uh, remember you should check uh, your links like once a week and update your disavow file on a regular basis.